Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. This is Ragnar, and I have some exciting news and some potentially upsetting news. The exciting news is that we have oxygen. We can breathe. We're safe in our space station now. That's fantastic. However, you may have noticed behind me and in front of me, there are these nasty blue blocks everywhere. The reason the nasty blue blocks are everywhere is the experimentation I've been doing off camera. So let me lay down the situation for you. I built a special chamber over here. Well, it's not really a special chamber. It's really just a, a catwalk um, where we would have had our connector to a, the next module of our space station. Let me get some lights here. Not that that lights my face much better, <laughs> but um, yeah, the idea is it's a low volume area that I knew I could seal off pretty well um, and I wouldn't be dealing with the complications of all the different blocks and weird combinations that I put into the actual space station itself. So um, this was for experimentation purposes. It is not going to be staying here at all. Um, so let's put our helmet back on and let's pull up our tools, get out our grinder and we'll go out and look at what we've done to the ship. Brace yourselves guys. It's horrible. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm full of cringe right now. This is, this is terrible. Um, but the basic premise was I could oxygenate this catwalk here, and each time I would do so, I would come out here, I would replace uh, a series of blocks here, and then I would go back in, and I would open up this chamber to the inside of the space station itself and see if it would stay oxygenated. If it wouldn't, I would come back out. I would replace another row of suspicious blocks, things that I thought may or may not be causing our ceiling issues, and I would go back in and try it out. So we did that from the bottom to the top, and finally, when I replaced these blocks, if you recall from the last episode, they were semi-circular blocks, which I never really liked that much anyway, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we replaced those semi-circular blocks, and the ship finally sealed. I was excited. Huzzah. Fantastic. Now we're left with this horrible monstrosity, a shadow of the beauty that once was, and this will not stand, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so the plan here today, I'm going to be loading a backup save because I could go at this for a while. I could try to fix all this stuff and get it back to what it looked like before. Um, it's not very efficient and I don't think it really jives with the, the original premise of the consequences um, that we accept for our misdeeds, our silly actions that end in tragedy. Those I am willing to accept. You crash a ship, you wreck it, it's destroyed. That's sad and all that jazz. But you made a bad decision. This is what it is in space. You screw up, you die. Um, of course, we're not doing permadeath, but that's here nor there either. <laughs> so, yeah, the idea... Let's not take off our helmet before this place is filled back up with oxygen. So, yeah, the idea is we're going to go... We're going to load a backup save, and um, I have a much better idea of what we need to replace on the ship because of the experimentation I've been doing here. And also, I did start doing a little bit of work in a creative world just to get an idea um, for which blocks you can place and which orientations, how they'll seal, um, what blocks they need to have adjacent to each other, yada, 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 yada. The list goes on and on. Um, but I did learn some things, and there are some decently helpful... Um, lists online as well. If you go on the Space Engineers Wiki, there's one that's kind of eh, semi-useful. It doesn't really go into depth. I'm left with many questions, um, and maybe we'll do some sort of a, an experimentation um, in the future where you guys can kind of reference what I'm doing here and, um, you know, get a little bit 
better at building yourselves. Um, it's almost laughable for me to think about me teaching you anything about this game, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are way better at it than I am. However, um, yeah, that's the plan. We're going to load up back up, um, and then we will replace definitely these blocks. Those have to go. I know that for sure. Everything else that I changed in the ship uh, prior to that is a big fat question mark. So, yeah, I'm going to load that back up, and I'll be right back. All right, here we are, back in our ship, or our station, as it were. Uh, we have all of our orange blocks back. The ship looks way, way better. However, you can see in the bottom right, we have no oxygen. We lost the catwalk. That's okay. My heart isn't broken. It didn't look that great. Um, but the sh station looks a heck of a lot better. I'm really happy to see it back. Um, so, first things first. We know these guys are a culprit. Those are an issue for sure when it comes to the ceiling. Um, and I suspect... And... I will confirm for you in a moment that these blocks are the problem as well. I'll show you why. Those are in the bottom corners and they're all the way around. Now let's just take a quick run down to the basement. Yeah, these guys. So it's a corner block and they're really only meant to seal on one side. So this side of the light corner block is meant to be an exterior piece, right? So what I think we can replace this with, and I don't like to do it because it fills up the space, makes it a little bit, little bit tighter down here, but we gotta do what we gotta do, you know? You would think that we learned our lesson earlier in uh, the episode where we built our first uh, shuttle craft there, the one parked right out on the front, which we still haven't named, by the way. Um, and, you know, maybe I should ask you guys for some input on that. What would you like to see that ship named? If you have a, an interesting name, I mean, I really liked the name Booty Hall. Um, came up with it kind of on the spot, and I just thought I was so hilarious when I came up with that, because it's kind of an, a double entendre. Um... But, yeah, I've, been, I've thought a bit about what we would name it, and it's kind of an all-purpose ship, you know? It got us off the planet, which is great. Uh, but I don't know what to call her. She's got a lot of thrusters. I don't know if you can make something up with that. I'll keep thinking about it, but if you guys have some good suggestions, like, I'm all ears, by all means. I would love to hear what you think would be a great name for that thing. So, I'm not sure what we'll do permanently here. I'm probably going to tinker around with these windows, but I do know that these are not going to seal up um, as the semispheres that they are. I think the part of the reason that is, is they won't seal along this edge. Like, this is meant to be like an exterior corner, um, and not really your primary ceiling block, so I guess... Uh, Number one piece of advice here, when you're building a station, a ship that needs to be sealed um, and have its own artificial atmosphere within, you should really build out your shape with the block blocks, like the straight up meter by meter um, cubed blocks, and then do your shaping afterwards. I think that that is probably the best approach. So your ship will always end up being a little bit bigger. Um, but I am super guilty of always trying to make the shape something that is kind of minimal, in interesting, but minimal, you know what I mean? Like, it's just something that's going to be, um, exactly what I intended it to be, and, uh, that never works out. <laughs> so, anyway, here, let's try it out, let's see if those were the blocks that we needed to do. Mm. Oh, low. Oh, that's a good sign. Yep, 
Oh, there we go. Yes. Blast out your oxygen that we may breathe. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I'm kicking myself. I can't believe that I shredded up the design of this ship so much just trying to find that leak. Um, so yeah, as it turns out, my windows are okay. Everything here is basically okay. It was just those blocks and then the blocks down in the basement, the corner bits, that were the problem. But yeah, let's christen the ship. Let's take off the helmet. Beautiful. Ugh, so good. All right, now let's get on with what we want to do for the rest of the episode. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, we've been doing a lot of building recently. Like, a lot. Pretty much every episode so far has been building this or that or the other thing. Um, we did a little bit of uh, ore collection, but really it's it's been strictly building. Um, but I'm thinking what might be pretty cool is I want to go on a little adventure today. I want to go explore something that I have never seen. Um... I've been to the asteroids, yep, been to Earth, that's all pretty standard boilerplate, however, the moon, it's just looming right there, it's calling out to us, it says, come and visit me, and I think that's what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to jump on the ship, um, right after I button these guys up, these, yeah, I, I uh, gosh, I just can't leave this like this, I need to, make this look a little bit more pretty. Um, I really don't like this square edging. So, tell you what guys, I'm gonna go off, I'm gonna fix these windows up, I'll show you really quick what we've got, and then uh, we'll jump on the ship, and we're gonna head for the moon. I wanna see the surface of that planet before this episode is out. So yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, what a beautiful view. Uh, yeah, so we went with this for our design. Um, I will show you really quick what it looks like from the outside. Um, I think it matches a little bit better than what we had before. Um, still feel like it's kind of missing a little bit of a gray highlight. I like, um, I like the contrast. The contrast does the, uh, does the design some justice? Are we leaking over here? Oh no. Did I leave the door open? What's going on? I don't know what's up with that. Alright, it's pressurized. Must just be a little bit of a graphical glitch there. Um, so yeah, we've completed the windows. They look pretty fantastic. Um, it, it suits my style anyway. Um, but uh, also, let's see here if I can show you. I did um, place a GPS location because the distance on this beacon is only five, no, 50 kilometers and we're definitely going to be a bit further away than that. Um, I did some calculations and it looks like uh, the distance from the earth to the moon is about 150,000 meters or uh, 150 kilometers, we're actually on the other side of it, so it's going to be a bit further than that. But at max speed in our ship, it's going to take probably on the order of a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes to get there from there, from here. Um, we're not going to be able to do a beeline to it, obviously, because we're going to be getting into the gravity field of the Earth. So I'm going to have to take a shot out around um, just to avoid dealing with all of that hassle. But... Um, Everything is all set up here, even added an antenna finally, which I can't believe that I've played this long with this ship. I mean, talk about a risk. Um, flying all over the place and, you know, possibly dying somewhere and not being able to find my ship again. But we have our ice in store. That's going to be, um, in case we have any fuel needs along the way, I think 250,000 should be well more than enough. And we have our steel plates, just in case we find a place that looks nice. And we want to build just a little bit of a landing pad um, to get started. We're not going to be going crazy on the moon yet, because we haven't really finished our space station here yet. But, um, yeah, I'm going to jump on the ship, and we're going to take off for the moon.
right, guys, we made it. We are approaching the moon. Um, kind of at the point where it's looking like we're getting pretty close. You can see there we still have no gravitational influence. Um, but, yeah, the trip overall took about 42 minutes. You probably saw there in the clip, um, albeit it is sped up quite a bit. I ended up uh, cutting through the gravitational sphere of the Earth a little bit there, so we had to do um, some trajectory correction. But, uh, yeah, we're on our way. Let's turn on the thrusters. How are we doing for hydrogen? Uh, we're, we're good. We're good. Let's be conservative with it. Okay. About 3,000 meters out, looks like. You get to... It starts to indicate the influence of the moon. Um, let's slow it down a little bit. Okay. Okay. It's not not too bad. I can see some ore deposits there. That's good. I like this crater here. That's very cool. A couple of cool craters. Let's be careful. Oh, I feel like I'm getting a little reckless. Really want to oh, take our time here. Can we hold our weight with just the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. All right. And, yeah, we're just one tick off full. That's all right. All right, let's bring it in slow. I'm using my shadow there as a reference to kind of give us an idea of how close we are. Coming in a little bit hot. Let's fire up those big ones. All right. And... Let's bring it down really nice and gentle. Alright, and touchdown. Let's... Very nice. Not bad at all. Alright. We're on the moon. Guys, we made it. I'm stoked. Ooh, look at the jump. <laughs> I love it. One quarter gravity. Oh, and look at that view. That's beautiful. Here, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we can get a... Yeah. Oh, we made it. You're a good ship. Thank you so much. We're here, guys. Um, let's check our inventory. Yeah, yeah, okay. We've got our things. Can I grab... No, oh, I have to be inside. Stupid conveyors, I swear. Alright, let's grab a couple of those. Oh, how are we doing for ice, by the way? Okay, we didn't use a ton. That's good. Alright, we'll hop back out. Oh, how cool. This is beautiful. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, what a neat place. This could be a good place for a uh, for a little moon base. We got some uh, open space there. Maybe we could cut into the side of the hill there a little bit. Have something that's a little bit more protected from uh, our solar radiation coming in from the sun. Seeing as how we have no atmosphere or ozone or magnetic field or any of those good things. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna take a fly around, see if I can find anything of particular interest. 
and uh, I'll bring you guys right back. And we're back. And guys, I'm having so much fun here. This place is amazing. I love the moon. I love the moon. It's so, so different and alien. And uh, I just love the low gravity and you're hopping around and everything is really neat. Um, and I did go around and mark a lot of the deposits. Looks like we have just about everything um, in the immediate area. Even found platinum, which I was surprised by. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I realized that I read it at some point that there is platinum on the moon, but um, yeah, that was a surprise to find that. Uh, one issue that I was having here, though, that has me a little bit nervous um, is our hydrogen tanks were flat empty. You can see them there. They're not even registering one mark. Um, and I don't really know what happened with that. Uh, maybe it was something obvious. I'll have to watch the video back. But if we go in here, you can see, yeah, we're only at 11% now. Um, and I had a uh, triple. I put them on stockpile. Nothing was happening. We have ice. We have everything that we need. Oh, speaking of which... Um, I do need to still find an ice deposit on the moon here. But, um, yeah, so those were flat empty, and they were not filling for some reason, so I just restarted the game, and, and now they're refilling, thank goodness. But I was a little concerned there that we were going to be in a situation where we're going to have to try to um, get everything going again, just based on the parts that we've got from the ship here, just to, just to get off. Um, I mean, our other option would have been to just leave the ship here, kill ourselves, respawn back at the station, and um, build another ship to come over, but that would have been equally as difficult um, and disappointing. So I am thinking, though, as far as I've seen in my explorations going around here... here let's shut off these markers. I don't need to see them now. Um, but as far as I've seen, this is a pretty cool location. Um, if we were to start building a base... Um, like I said, we're we're running on a little bit uh, towards the end of the episode here, so we're not going to go crazy there. But, um, yeah, maybe a, a little bit off camera, I might start working on a landing platform. Um, not sure exactly where I'm going to put it just yet, but uh, we'll tinker around with some ideas. But just flying around this landscape, I've already got so many cool ideas coming to me, and uh, I'm really excited about that. But... That being said, that's all the time we have today for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to leave a like uh, or subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me today. This has been Ragnar, and I'll catch you in the next episode.